Hi guys, welcome back to Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Marta. I hope the previous episode was interesting where I talked more about my experience so far with Games Workshop and Warhammer 40k or Fantasy in my life today. Uh, it didn't go into too much detail on that, but I can elaborate more on that in the future if people would like me to. Um, today's mission is an interesting one. Um, from a prior mission, I got some intel in my inventory, which I used, and uh, it generated this mission for me. Um, looking at it, uh, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a challenge, especially with the extra hazards, um, the minus damage dealt, plus damage summerhood. Um, we're also going to be taking 20 HP per second continuous warp damage during the mission. Um, so let's jump right into it. I'm hoping that this mission won't be the first time where I actually die in the game. Um, it would be nice to do a full playthrough where I get through all the campaign and everything without actually dying. But I feel it's inevitable that at some point I'm probably going to hit a wall in this game maybe where uh, something catches me by surprise and starts uh, butchering me a bit. But uh, fingers crossed that this won't be the case. Um, but maybe this is kind of a challenge that uh, I've been hoping for given that I like uh, some harder games like Dark Souls um, and Bloodborne. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I know the summer has... Uh, been very bright and hot at the moment especially in the uk um, but wherever you're, you are in the world uh, i hope uh, everything's going well um right so i wonder if i'm gonna die here i really really i really wonder because i have not i've not done something that oh god okay here we go Come on. Keep it moving. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, walk painted chest. Ooh, I wonder what this is going to give. Hoping there's some really good loot in there. Um, probably won't be showing on camera or in recording even, um, any of the loot I get from missions. Because um, for the most part, uh, I kind of do all that stuff outside of missions. Oh god, you're a bit tough. There we go, come on. Yeah, got him. Well, I've never had an enemy take that long to kill before, so it's certainly a step up. I'm noticing the uh, the damage down um, in that. Not really noticing the damage suffered to me, and the warp damage doesn't seem to be uh, too glaringly overpowering for me. Pop the turret there. Nice. Come on. Okay, he's not really got armor that guy, so that's fine. It's these uh, champions of armor that are the, uh, the problem for me, really. Nice. Uh, there's no markers this way, but I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check out all of the map as much as I can. Um, hopefully, it won't lead to me running into something that kills me. Nice chest. Um. I mean, I, I'm wondering if maybe in the future, uh, if if there is interest, I could show kind of the basis of where my points have been invested, um, and uh, how that's going to help me, uh, hopefully, to my build. Um, as I previously said, though, I could be building this completely wrong and not optimal, but I mean, for the purpose of having a good experience, I think it's worthwhile. Uh, right, we've just saved these first guys, um, so let's keep moving. I'm going to follow us around now, which, I mean, the extra health is always worth uh, considering, really. <laughs> I've noticed they're actually, um, they're pretty useful. I feel like in other games I've played, and there's Imperial Guard in them or whatever, they're kind of rubbish. But maybe it's just I've not really noticed them before. Uh, those, those Chaos Space Marines, uh, I really don't do a lot to them with the, uh, the chainsaws that I have. Override these. Uh -oh. Nice. 
Come on. Get a damage boost from my knocker. Uh, there we go. Cool. Oh, there's a warp thing here. Nice. Keep moving. Purple mark. There must be some relevance to it, I imagine. Nice. I'm not. I, I'm assuming that was a poor. Oh God! What is? Okay. Well, I was not expecting that. I'm going to use my inoculator again. I might have charges on it now, which is slightly concerning. But I'm going to try not to die here. Kill this guy. Fairly damaged. Nice, we've got the pillar. Keep hiding, keep hiding. Nice, he's dead. Oh, these little guys just keep coming. Nice. Yeah, I'm overwhelmed. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I'm not good here. Jesus Christ, that is tough. Need to get my health back a bit. Did not think there'd be a big guy like that here. Um, he's spawning more. Let's place another turret. I think we need it. Let's uh, okay, we've got some inoculator back, that's fine, we can attack him there. Calvary is really tough. There we go. I wonder if I should have switched to my Great Axe though, that was, <laughs> that was really tough. <laughs> I genuinely thought I was going to die during that. Right, I can use my inoculator now. Oh my god, there's charges in the corner there as well. If only I'd have known. Um, I think this room was pretty much optional. I've noticed that I'm only allowed a certain amount of deaths. Um, I'm hoping that that chest was actually worthwhile, because if it wasn't, that's going to be really, really painful for me. I'm wondering why this is still marked, unless it's... Ah, uh, I guess that's to evacuate them all. Alright, keep moving. Let's get the rest. I, it might have been good to have taken them out quite, kind of early, but I feel like if maybe I had all of the captives with me, then maybe we would, would have been able to deal with that a bit better. i just like the trap there, that's not good. Come on. Oh god, he's nearly dead. I'm very much aware they are under my command, but... Oh god, that's a nice pile of bodies. Ow. I'm going to pop my inoculator because it gives me a damage boost. Um, oh, we seem to have handled that quite well, actually. Let's kill them. Go in here and kill these guys. Get the medical supplies. Right, I'm going to keep moving. I think if I, if I get them all first and then I then I can deal with whatever else, we'll have a firepower then to actually take things out quite easily, I think. Um, oh, so, oh, nice. I don't know why I just did that, I just blew that up on myself for no reason, that wasn't very smart, was it? Um, right, let's keep these guys moving. Um, I want to make sure I get as much as possible out of the map, because I feel like there might be some really good loot in this map for me. Um, pop my shield. Nice, easy. Easy now. Yeah, I, I'm definitely glad I took out that halberd before. It, it was it was really painful, but I, I feel like it was probably better to have got it out of the way. Um, otherwise, it could have been really, really bad for me. Uh, maybe getting these guys killed. I don't know if it would matter if these guys died, though. Probably not, I guess. Um, we'll head to the exit now, anyway. 
Let's go, get rid of that. I triggered that before. Um, always worth keeping an eye out for those those skulls. Um, triggering them can just lead to like loads of mines exploding on you, um, and some other things as well. But I've I've not died to anything yet so far, so that's good. But we did it. Wow, that was uh, a bit more of a challenge. Um, probably got very close to dying there, but um, yeah. Um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Um, uh, this was a bit different. I think I got a bit more into the gameplay this time because the, the difficulty to it, instead of it being a bit uh, straightforward, just run through everything and kill it. Um, yeah, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and um, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Maybe I'll get you in one of my later videos where you really enjoy the content and you, you can stay on board. But if you have subscribed so far, I appreciate you all. Thank you very much, and goodbye.